I still can never have anyone convince me otherwise that I think that team decided to trade up, to draft a quarterback, to say, hey, we drafted a quarterback, look at us at number one because we're moving to L.A., and that's exciting. That's fun. That's a fun thing to do. And when you do that with your team, it's the worst possible way to run your team, and I think that's exactly what they did, and no one can convince me otherwise. All right? But how do you screw it up that bad? Let's say it's a man. You don't think he's going to be any good. I'm trying to be fair and have an open mind because of the surroundings, but I thought as soon as they scored a touchdown, which again was off a fumbled, completed pass, that they benched him after eight plays. And I go, Six attempts. they're just going to do this, right? They're going to do this because it's just, it feels good walking around the building. Hey, who's our guy that gets a touchdown every other series? <laughs> that guy over there. I mean, this can be unfair. It can sound mean. It can sound like all these different things. But if you really asked, like that move to me, and this is complete reckless speculation, but that move confirms to me they don't have confidence in him because they're artificially building it up with this fake Let's hey, let's get you out of let's get you out of there with the ones, bro. Let's get you over to the sideline. Help Mannion out a bit. How do you get it that wrong that quickly? If the case is is that it's just never going to work for Goff. I don't know because the truth of the matter is, I think they knew they had it wrong much more quickly than we are willing and they are willing to admit. Prob- Based on information, that's exactly accurate. Last summer, yeah. Last summer, they knew. <sighs> Can you imagine? Spending the number one pick on a quarterback, okay? Because it's exciting when you do it. And we traded up. We took him. Yeah, we took him. No one doesn't high five in the war room. They all high five. And then he shows up to camp. And you're like, oh no. How did we do this? That's going to be the worst feeling. If there is very strong evidence that you made a mistake a month after you've made the mistake, why can't you correct that a month before you make the mistake? I get live action, baby, live action. That's when it reveals itself. What you see on a whiteboard before the draft, not the same thing you see in a live scrimmage after the draft. But, I mean, I don't know. Who is it, these guys out here trying to sell these teams on virtual virtual reality technology? Or whatever, man. Put them in some goggles and throw some virtual people flying at them. Can't we figure out if he can make the right play call in the heat of the action? Can't we watch enough college game tape to figure out if he's got it a month before the draft, it seems like in 2017 we've got enough analytics and enough technology that something that's obvious a month later should be obvious a month before. 